Pierce. I'm the producer of Ready Row USA podcast. We're here live at the U.S. Rowing Convention, talking to a bunch of fun people, um, including Anita de France, who we all know and love <laughs> and is our role model in rowing. But uh, thanks for coming on and, and speaking with us tonight. I heard you yesterday briefly, but I'd like to hear more about your, your experiences. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. I'm having a wonderful time because I have so many friends here who I haven't seen in a long time. Yesterday, I was at the boat club that gave me the opportunities that had changed my life at Vesper Boat Club, which is wonderful. And seeing the pictures up on the wall and all the, the history of that club, which won the uh, the eight board shell gold medal in 1900, which was the first time that rowing was actually contested. It was on the program yeah. for Athens. But they, uh, the venue they selected was such that it was blown off the water before it could be conducted. So it was on the program. So it's technically one of the original Olympic sports. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. But the 1900 uh, bow mm -hmm. of the boat is that, that's is that the one that's on the wall there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. So it's fun to see that and see friends who I rode with and our lives continue to be part of one another's lives and to see people i've had wonderful experiences with people telling me what i've done with them over oh the years. i heard a lot of those oh, just because i said i went to your talk and you know they said oh well she you know inspired me and, oh well uh, someone i was talking with who is also a vesper tiger i was teaching mm -hmm. him the song that most people don't know unless you were there in the late 70s you were and uh, he said i have to tell you something you presented the medal to me. I said, oh, yeah, I love that. He said, but she said, well done, Vesper. Yeah. And he looked at me and I said, how did you know? Of course I know. I remember when they're doing well. So that's what I like to say. That's so cool. Well yeah. Making those connections and overlapping, yeah. you know, and yeah. he'll go on. And yeah. And yeah. Yeah. And so, and, and the things that have changed in the sport, mm -hmm. uh, learning about that, learning what the issues are for athletes today to see how I can be helpful, uh, especially for the women. It's so different because women now have a chance to stay in the sport longer than mm -hmm. they did in my era. And But what does that do for them professionally or to them? Professionally? When you step out of, of, the, uh, of your profession for four years, it's not so mm -hmm. bad. But when it's eight or 12 years, yes. and then you come back in and everyone else has been doing it for eight or 12 years and you haven't. That's a lot tough. Yeah, you can, you can hear a lot of stories about women that have had to do that, especially. Yes, and now out of college, uh, the corporate world would have snapped them up mm -hmm. because they're looking for people who can work well together. And sure. always, that is a definition for them. Well, I took up sculling at oh. the age of 57, oh. so, or 56, maybe, yeah. yeah. And it, I just got, like, here I am doing a podcast about it, you know, it's just, it's just it draws you in. It's the magic yeah. of being free on the water. Yes, yes. And it is magic. So we have a question that we're asking everybody, mm -hmm. including Matthew Pinson, who is just oh, on. Matthew, yes. I know. And Sir, so we're asking Sir Matthew. You, Sir Big Matthew, I'm, you know, I have to yeah. remember that. Um, we're asking people to describe the perfect stroke. Well, the reason we keep doing it is we're working to get to that point. I'm not sure what it is, but I did my best every time yes. to get the blade in and stack properly to drive it through and to get it yes. released. Yeah. So I'm still working on it. I know. It's that pursuit of thing. You can kind of glimpse it once in a while, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there have been times in boats where, boy, I mean, it's funny. I can... I, I'll tell the story because he knows the author of the wonderful book, The Boys in the Boat. Yes. I had a chance to talk with him as, as we are sitting now. Sure. And I said, you know, one thing I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, that you're not a rower. And he said, no, I'm not. And why did you say that? I said, well, you got a lot of things that most people don't know about the sport. For example, you kind of... Uh, told the world how much pain we go through. We don't yeah. talk about that because if we did, no, we, we, would, we would why would we do it? Drive um, down the road. Yeah. The club. <laughs> <laughs> and you talked about swing, which is important and that's really essential. But the yeah. thing you didn't talk about is the feeling of the boat gets to speed 
and it kind of rises up, and you can hear or feel the bubbles running underneath oh, it. Oh, you know that, that sound? I have and a little that, pine earth, and I'm a single scholar, you know, and yeah. when I get that sound, it's the boat is talking to me. Exactly. Yeah. So the boat is up to speed, and it's going to go so much faster. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So that, that feeling is just, yeah, exactly. Is <laughs> that, that, oh, okay. Yeah. No one talked about that. I said, well, you're talking about the athletes of 36 yeah, yeah. different world. We had, um, at the head of the Charles, I did some interviews with uh, Judy Wellman and Jennifer Hoffman, who are their daughter and granddaughter of Joe Reyes. Yeah. And that was just fascinating. Oh, yeah. Judy had taken, you know, gone into all these addicts of people and her, her own. And getting them to cooperate. Yeah. There is also a little PS uh, documentary yeah. called The Boys of 36. And the part of the book where he talks about how the stroke was really, really sick at the final yes. race at the Olympic Games and the coxswain's looking and says, I hope he's in there, I, you know, I, but he's not communicating. Uh, Lenny Greffenstahl was a genius behind the camera. Unfortunately, she was doing it for the wrong side, mm -hmm. but she was such a genius yeah, that's right, that she actually had the camera. Oh, so you can see that happening. You can see that happening. We have that footage now. Yes. So, yeah. I mean, I got chills when I saw it. So PBS, the boys yeah. of 36. And I just interviewed uh, Linda Murray yesterday. Mm -hmm. She did technical work on this new film. Do you know about Swing? No. It's a new independent film. Okay. It's now in editing and it's coming out in the fall of 2020. But it's it's a fictional movie, but it's like one of those great, you know, it's good to have these oh, for awareness and people yeah. with, uh, about rowing. Yeah. People that don't know about it, we'll come yeah, maybe check it out. Yeah, and as someone was saying yesterday, the boathouses are there, you go by it, but yeah. they seem mysterious here. Yeah. Like, can you go in? Of course, you can. Yeah. I did. So, what do you think? I mean, I started when I was 56, but what do you think would, would connect more, like especially masters women or women of color or you know, people that don't aren't represented mm -hmm. well in the rowing? Well, to an extent, it's it's my fault for not doing more work to get more folks in. Because as I always say, the boat doesn't care sitting in it. No. And just, certainly just blades don't. Exactly. <laughs> so it's open to everyone. Yeah. And uh, I'm really glad that now um, uh, Ocean Rowing will be yes. on the program of the Youth Olympic Games in uh, Dakar, Senegal in 2022. Which means that we can be on the way. So it's actually for that. an official sport. Yes. Yes. Awesome. For those games. Yes. yes. Um, and uh, to me, that's the place of expansion. And for the years I was development yeah. chair of, of FISA, um, that was our focus, trying to get yeah. ocean rowing or yeah. sea rowing or whatever it's called. Um, and I even, before I knew about it, uh, back in 1980, was it three or four? I did the uh, Catalina to Marina del Rey road, no which is not, Catalina is not just 26 a, miles beyond the sea. Unfortunately, no, it was in an Alden, but it was uh, a flat, yes, flat boat right. instead of the Jan Palchikov, who is an elite, <laughs> is an elite stellar, and yes. I am not. As I say, I don't do that two-fisted rowing. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, because I have so much respect because the skills for that. Uh, anyhow, uh, it's funny because we hit the wall at different times. I hit the wall earlier, so I was okay for the rest yeah. of it, and she didn't hit it till later. And it was oh, you have a sense of adventure. That's oh, pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. We just had John Wick on last night, uh -huh. and he said he he had done some like hundred mile coastal road. That's totally unnecessary. Delaware, you know? <laughs> <laughs> totally unnecessary. But he's he's so he's so you know electrified about this yeah. this new direction. Oh, yeah. I think, you know, and especially for developing countries, you, yes. know, you can take those kinds of boats in. Well, and if you don't have rivers and lakes. Yeah, yeah. But you've got all of this water Absolutely. all around. Yeah, like Indonesia or, you know, some place like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I, um, I'm so glad we caught you and you could have the time to just sit. Thank you. Us. My pleasure. Yeah. I uh, love this sport. It's given me so much. I'm working hard to give back what I've got. You are doing a good job. I must <laughs> you. say, you know, I um, we also have Arshay Cooper on from time to time. Oh, good. I know he won your award. Yes, yeah. Good just, guy. I'm so glad he exists in our world. I know. He's such a wonderful. And he, with kids, 
we both were speaking at the same place once, and he is just extraordinary yeah. to be able to reach out to kids. Yeah, I actually kind of started the podcast because I had heard a live from the U.S. Rowing Convention last year when he was here. And I thought, hmm, let's get some better, you know, some better conversations going about Excellent. This. Yeah, so we do, we do a topic, you know, city youth rowing. We talked yes. to Neil Bergenroth in uh, Tulsa uh -huh. the other day. He's doing his STEM program. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then we have way, way, way out in L.A. We have the L.A. Rose, which yes. I'm so yes, proud I need to, of. Yes, Who's the person? Well, Liz, Liz is, has been the president, and uh, Liz, Liz uh, Greenberg. Okay. I wanted to connect with them at some point. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can when we're off. Okay, good. All right, well, let's let you go. I know you Thank have you. other people to talk to, but I really appreciate, appreciate this opportunity, yeah. and thanks to the world of rowing. Oh, it's your heart. Thanks. Yes. I don't know what it is about rowing. It's just, you know, it just... 